Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 501 of lead code called find mode in binary search tree. Uh, before I start with the problem statement guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started with the problem statement. So basically guys, we are given a binary search tree like this and we want to find out the mode. So mode is the most frequent element occurring in any collection. So in case of binary search tree, we know that the left node is less than the root node and the right node is greater than the root node. But this is a special type of binary search tree in which the right node can be greater than or equal to the root node. And the left node can be less than or equal to the root node. So in this case, you can see that the left node of 2 is also 2, which is equal to its value, right? So we want to find out a value in the tree, which is occurring the most number of times. If uh, there is there are two values and both of them are occurring the most number of times. So for example, if 2 is also... Uh, appearing twice and one was also you know hope if one was also appearing twice then the output of this statement would have been one and two so you have both the nodes but in case there is only one mode then you just return that one value but in short we have to return an array of integers uh, which are the mode of this binary search tree uh, another example if you have only one node obviously the answer is going to be that one node only constraints are pretty straightforward the number of nodes are in the range of 1 to 10 to the power 4 and the node value ranges from minus 10 to the power 5 to plus 10 to the power 5. There is one follow up also that can we do that without using any extra space and assume that the implicit stack space incurred due to recursion does not count. So first thing first that we can use a recursion here. We don't have to think about the implicit recursion stack space. Okay. The next thing is, can we do that without using any extra space? So, so for those who don't really understand why it said that, let's first discuss the solution with the extra space. Okay, so I'm just going to discuss that solution approach here. I'm not going to implement it, but let's just see how we are going to do that. So first of all, we know that this uh, tree is a binary search tree. So obviously, the node uh, which is going to be the value equal to the uh, if, if a node is going to have a value equal to its root node or its child node, obviously if I do an in order traversal, then both of those nodes are going to appear together. Okay, because obviously in an in order traversal, you do left node, root node and then right node. So obviously the root node and the child node are going to appear together. Okay. So, first thing is that let's do an in order reversal. After, uh, while we are doing the in order reversal, we are going to populate a map. Populate a map with the node and its occurrence. So, basically, a map will have uh, some structure like this. So, map, tree node, and integer. If the tree node already exists in the map, just increment its occurrence. If the uh, tree node does not exist in the map, set its occurrence to 1. Okay. Keep a uh, value counter where a max value counter, max value counter. So this max value counter is going to uh, be updated by each and every occurrence which we are going to put in the map. If the original max value is less than the current occurrence which uh, we have encountered, then just update the max value. Otherwise, keep it the same, right? And finally, this entire in order traversal is completed. So both of these steps are part of order traversal. Once this in order traversal is completed, basically max value counter is going to have the maximum uh, value of the maximum occurrence of the mode value, right? So for example, if two here is appearing twice, then the max value counter will have the value two, right? So then, just compare compare the max value counter with the values of map so our uh, collection map we are just going to compare all the key values to this max value counter and 
store the keys which match in a array and return it okay so uh, for all those nodes in the tree uh, obviously the tree node here for them uh, for which the the counter value matches the max value uh, we are just going to uh, get the hold of all those three nodes uh, pass them into an uh, array list and just uh, return that uh, as a result okay so i hope this solution was clear to you guys but you know that in this solution we are actually storing the entire map so the entire map is getting stored with a uh, with with all the tree nodes right so this solution is going to take order of n space and obviously uh, it is going to take order of n time but here order of n space is also been consumed so we want to prevent that we don't want the entire tree to be stored in a uh, in a map right so let's see how we can prevent our space complexity okay so there comes our next approach in the next approach guys we are going to uh, use the in order traversal but instead of actually storing the uh, tree node values in a map we are going to only keep a counter of the maximum value so we are we will do the in order traversal we will match the current node with the previous node and uh, previous node is obviously going to be its parent node okay because we are doing in order traversal so if it matches if it matches then increment the value increment the count variable so we will maintain two counters one will be maximum count and one will be simple count we'll just increment the count and if the count reaches the max count value so if the count reaches the max count value then we will simply then add the node to a list okay if the count increases the max value so for example uh, for now if we are at the root node the max value is 1 if we are at 2 the max value is still 1 if we go to the left counter then the max value becomes equals to 2 because two nodes have same value okay so obviously the mode counter is 2 so if the count increases the max value in that case we will clear our list so by clearing the list we are actually freeing the memory which we were, which we were consuming before so we will just clear our list so that our space complexity is reduced and then we will simply add the new max count node to the list okay and finally guys when this entire in order traversal is completed this list object will have all only those nodes which have the maximum occurrence in our binary search tree okay so i hope the approach is clear to you guys and it will get more clear once we start implementing it so let's go to the coding part of the solution okay so first of all as i told you we are going to maintain two counters here one is going to be the max counter which is going to be initialized to 0 one is going to be the simple count which is going to be initialized to 1 now why this count is initialized to 1 uh, because we are given that the number of nodes in the tree is in the range from 1 to 10 to the power 4 so there is going to be at least one node in the binary search tree and for that one original parent node one root node the count is going to be one originally okay so for example if we only have the root node then the count value the occurrence value of root node is going to be one originally then obviously we need uh, we need a previous node to compare our current node so let me initialize this to null now as in the first step i have stated that we are going to do an in order traversal so let's create a in order traversal function private void in order now in this in order we are going to pass two things one is going to be obviously our tree node node and one is going to be the list which we have to populate so list tree node list okay so this list will only contain those nodes 
who have the maximum counter in our binary search tree. So first thing which we are going to check if node is equal equals to null. If the node which is passed is equal equals to null then simply return. If the node is not equals to null we will go and do the in order traversal of its left node. So node dot left and pass the list. Okay. Once the entire left subtree is traversed then we will come back to our current root node and then we will simply check if the previous node is not equal to null. So previous node means the parent of this current node if that is not equal to null. So if this current node has some parent in that case if you see this image, so for example, if we are at this last leaf node and it has a parent, it has a previous node. So what does that mean? It basically means that it either it's, uh, if it has a previous node and either we are, uh, we are at two, which is the parent node of the left child or if it is a right node of a root node. So either of them, there is a parent child relationship between them. So we can obviously compare if the node dot value is equal equals to the previous dot value if both of them have a parent child relationship and the value is equal equals to the previous value then just increment the count otherwise if both of them do not have the same value then it means that your current node is occurring for the first time with a different value so let's set its count to one now we are just going to compare our count value. So if the count value is greater than max, if the count value is greater than max, then definitely it means that the current node which we thought is going to be the maximum occurring node is not the one. So just do the list dot clear because we were storing in this low list only those nodes which have the maximum occurrences. And add the current node because now we know that its count is greater than the maximum count. So obviously the current node is the maximum occurring node. So list dot add node. Max will becomes equals to count. Else if count is equal equals to max. If the count is equal equals to max, then what we are going to do? If the count is equal equals to max, then simply add list dot add node. If the count is equal equals to max, then in that list you will add that node because there can be two three n nodes which have the same maximum occurrence count if the count is lesser than max then you don't have to do anything you don't add it into your list because this list only contains those elements which either have the maximum count or you know yeah or they have a greater than maximum count right finally do the previous becomes equal to node and now the current node uh, processing is done. So we can go and start processing our write node. Node dot write comma list. Okay. So now the in order function is completed. And these were the steps which we did. Let's come to our main function. And first of all, let's create a list which we actually have to pass inside this in order function so list uh, tree node list equals to new array list and just create that then i'm going to call the in order with our root node and this list so now we know that the list only contains a maximum occurring node so i can create an array res equals to new int and list dot size so I have created my array and then for integer i equals to 0 to i less than list dot size i plus plus just put the result i value to list dot get i dot val okay finally we are just going to return the result so let's run this code guys let's see if this works and you can see guys that the solution is accepted for first example Let's see if it gets accepted for other examples as well. And there you go guys, you can see that it is accepted for all the other examples. Now in this case, if I talk about the time complexity guys, obviously the time complexity is, is going to be order of n because we are going through each and every node once. If I talk about the space complexity and I ignore the recursion stack, then we can say that 
the space complexity is order of one because we are only storing the nodes which have the maximum occurrences and we know that uh, we are not storing the entire tree we are only storing the nodes which have to be in our result set so obviously the space complexity is order of one okay so that was the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something from it if you have guys then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends as well if you have any questions comments suggestions for me write down in the comment section below i'm definitely gonna address them and if you have not yet subscribed then please i request you to do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more such programming related videos uh, for their notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.